Now that we know the definition of cloud computing, let's also understand the benefits of cloud computing. There are two kinds of organizations that may want to choose cloud computing as their preferred partner to place their infrastructure in the cloud. One is the new companies or startup companies who have nothing on their on-premise infrastructure. Others are existing businesses who might want to choose a gradual movement from their on-premise to the cloud to save money and get all the benefits and good features of cloud computing. In this video, we'll learn about the benefits of cloud computing and what it can offer to the business. Cloud computing is a cost-effective solution, primarily because it provides a way to pay as you use the services, or we can also call it as a consumption-based pricing model because you really do not have to pay any upfront predefined amount for the computing resource or hardware. It's just like renting the hardware. You just use it and then once you're done, you give it back to the cloud provider. Then you pay for just that amount of time you have used it. This consumption model brings several benefits because there are no upfront costs. There is no need to purchase or manage the costly infrastructure. The ability to pay for additional resources only when they are needed. And you can stop paying for resources when they are no longer needed. And this also allows for better cost prediction. Prices for individual resources and services are provided. So you can predict how much you will spend in a given billing period and you will know what, will, what is your expected usage and what will be your probably the next month's bill as well. You can also perform analysis based on the future growth using historical usage data tracked by the cloud provider. Another advantage is scalability. You can increase or decrease the resources or services based on demand. When the infrastructure was on your premise, this particular feature was so difficult. And hence scalability and elasticity are one of the key attractive features of cloud computing. On your premise, if you want to keep your infrastructure scalable, then you need to procure quite a lot of infrastructure. In cloud, you don't have to do that because scalability is done on demand. Consider that there is an e-commerce application and there's a sale going on and that sale will lead to spike in traffic overnight. Because the cloud is elastic in nature, the cloud computing provider will automatically allocate more resources to handle the increased traffic. And when the traffic begins to normalize, the cloud computing provider will automatically deallocate the additional resources to minimize the cost. So when there's a whole lot of traffic that will rise up the CPU usage, the memory usage, the disk IOPS and the network utilization, the cloud provider automatically bumps up new instances in your infrastructure in the cloud and when there is no traffic the cpu calms down the network iops calms down so the cloud provider will automatically get rid of the additional resources and that will automatically manage your cost and billing there are two concepts we should talk about in scalability one is vertical scaling and other one is horizontal scaling what we discussed so far is horizontal scaling which is a process of adding more and more servers that function together as one single business unit. Consider the same example of an e-commerce application. So usually you will have a web server or maybe a, a cluster of web servers behind a load balancer. These web servers will be handling the load from the uh, production environment. These web servers will be handling the current traffic. And when the traffic goes high, I'll be creating more and more servers. And this is an example of horizontal scaling. The new servers that are automatically provisioned can also get automatically connected to the load balancer. Vertical scaling on the other side is about adding resources to the existing set of servers. So if your server has like 4 GB of memory, then you just spike up the memory from 4 to 6. So you're giving more power to the existing server is an example of vertical scaling. Vertical scaling is also called as scaling up, whereas horizontal scaling is called as scaling out. Cloud is current. It is up to date. When you use cloud, you will be able to focus more on things that matter. For example, building and deploying applications and focusing more on your businesses. 
cloud eliminates all the burdens of you having to patch and maintain the software, hardware, upgrades, and all other IT management tasks. And all this is automatically done for you to ensure that you are using the latest and the greatest tools to run your business. Additionally, the cloud hardware is maintained and upgraded by the cloud provider. For example, if a hardware component on your rack fails, then the cloud provider is the one who fixes it, it's not you. If new hardware update becomes available or firmware update becomes available, you do not have to go through the hassle of updating the firmware. It is a cloud provider who does that. The cloud provider will also ensure that there are software updates and hardware updates that are made available to you automatically. Cloud is reliable. When you're running a business, you want to be confident of your data is always going to be there. That means availability is handled by the cloud provider. The cloud computing provider will provide data backups, disaster recovery, and data replication services to make sure your data is always safe. In addition, redundancy is often built into cloud services architecture. So if one component fails, a backup component takes its place. This is also called as fault tolerance and it ensures that your customers are not impacted when a disaster occurs. Disaster recovery, backups, fault tolerance and availability are the critical features of cloud computing. Cloud is global. Cloud providers have a fully redundant data centers which are spread across different parts of the world which is called as a region. This gives cloud a geographical footprint for the customers to make sure that customers feel as if their application is running locally. And this ensures that the customers get the best response time possible no matter where they are in the world. You can replicate your services into multiple regions for redundancy and locality. You can replicate your services into multiple regions for redundancy and to make sure that there is least latency. You can specify a specific region to ensure you meet data residency and compliance laws for your customers. Cloud is secure. Think about how you can secure your data center. There are a lot of things that you need to take care of right from the physical security to the technical controls that must be in place. That's a lot of overhead on the customers. You need to take a look at who's accessing your building, who's operating the server racks and so on. How about digital security, multi-factor authentication? How are you protecting the data, applications, infrastructure from potential threats that are going on today? When it comes to physical security, the cloud provider takes care of the infrastructure with heavily guarded walls, cameras, gates, and security personnel and so on to protect the physical assets. They also have strict procedures in place to ensure employees have access only to those resources that have been authorized to manage. There is something called as digital security. One thing that makes cloud unique is that you rent compute and storage resources from a shared pool. Plus, data can travel in different ways within a data center, between data centers, and across the internet. Well, we want to make sure that just authorized users access it and that then becomes a shared responsibility. Cloud providers will offer you with tools to mitigate security threats, but you must be using those tools to protect the resources you use. Cloud computing is cost effective, scalable, it's elastic, it's current, reliable, and secure. And this is all done to make sure that you run your business easier. That also means that you are able to spend more time on what things that really matter and less time managing the underlying infrastructure.